I have kids to feed, I need some money, and I ain't doing nothing for it. Take it or leave it, for real, for real, I want something serious. But y'all play too much, so two-thirds of your bio is you being a joke. Also, ma'am, you do kind of need to realize that it is fairly easy for somebody to leave something that uh, they haven't even picked up in the first place. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back in the r slash nice girls, and if you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Let me know something good that's happened to you this week, because for me, for myself, uh, let's see, I was streaming, I got raided by a streamer that I like watching, and then uh, y'all guys came into my stream and gave me a serotonin overload because of happy feelings and all the support you guys give me. Holy, I love you guys. You guys will be finding females crazy and toxic when they go through your phone and want your password, but honestly, Females just don't want to get hurt and overthink stuff and just want reassurance, not in all relationships, but in some that's really the only thing. We be trying to trust, but it's hard from past experience and takes time. But y'all never can just give us some time and stick around. Okay, but you're asking to go through somebody's phone, and that's a little bit sketchy right off the bat. Plus, also, I can guarantee you, you would want your own sense of privacy. I mean, you would think it would be a little weird for your significant other to be asking to go through your phone, wouldn't it, right? Me, whenever I see a tall, emo-looking dude with long hair, wearing all black, with a most basic blonde girl. Ah yes, the same look that the schmucks with the expired coupons wanting me to break policy at my work give me. Thank you for that! Gonna say something that's gonna trigger a lot. Nevertheless, it is an observation of society. Men always ask out silent, timid kind of women, which they see as sweet or cute. Uh, but in reality, they like this type of girl because they feel secure in perceiving she would never oppose them and be submissive to his manliness. He can hide his insecurity and be the man to her. Only a strong, open-minded man has the courage to ask out an outgoing, opinionated, and strong woman. Kudos to such men with a spine. And the rest think they can tame the ones who aren't. I is but me am the $64,000 question for you in it all. How many of those people have come up to you and what was your answer to them? Was it a yes? Don't worry, I'll wait. Hi, hello, I can see that you're online. Like, this isn't cool, man. I know you're chatting to this person, so, like, can you chat to me too? What the heck, man? Like, I thought we were pretty close. And like, I thought you actually liked me in that way. So now you're ghosting me? After I was such a nice girl to you? Uh, she said it. The audacity. I mean, you aren't even that good looking, and yet you are here too busy for me. You are freaking rating messages, you S4 brains. I can see you. I would have literally let you take me out, and I would have treated you like a king, even though you don't really deserve it. OMG! Answer your gosh darn phone or I'll bloke you. Hello? Jesus Christ, lady, you sent that all in the spam of two minutes. Four minutes, my bad, but still holy shit. You know, just a bit of a pro tip, he might actually respond to you if you come down and slow down a little lower than frickin' light speed. Like, seriously, imagine being on the other end of that. Why are you not responding? Come on, get respond. You know, there's also a little bit of another one of those little tips for you that you might want to learn. Uh, maybe if he ain't responding to you, certainly calling him dookie for brains ain't gonna speed up the process. Nah, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming across as a dong, but I've seen a lot of red flags. I chose to ignore them at the time because I felt like we connected pretty well, but then you seemed to want nothing to do with me. I noticed that, but I figured you were going through a rough patch. Then you did what you did, and I realized it wasn't because you're having a tough time, you just wanted a placeholder. And I got too much respect for myself to be that. Okay, cool, you don't have to go this far by making your point. I've already said that you're not getting the full blank. You're getting hurt blank. That just lost everything, so if you really don't care, then there's the door, B. I'm not an easy person to put up with, apparently. I did care, but if you're going to treat me like that and don't want me in your life, why would I try to force myself into it? I'm not trying to do anything, I just got out of a year 
year-long relationship, lost my best friend, was at my brother's house for the first time since my sister. Yeah, that's very redacted. Like, get off my D. If you don't want to be on it, I just need someone who's gonna be there, but you don't just instantly get trust, especially not with someone who has proved time and time again that no one really here for the long run. I'm sorry I hurt you, I have no excuse or reason to, I really am. My intentions were never to hurt anyone, I'm just unstable right now. You prove to me that you're not here for the long run. Maybe I pushed you away because I knew that I was already getting attached and I couldn't handle being attached to someone who may not want me. Maybe I was so scared of getting comfortable with someone when I knew I was gonna lose more. Well, in the future, I hope you know sometimes that a risk is worth taking. You may miss out on some good people if you do that. Caption of this one stated, The girl sent a picture of the guy she hooked up with after she dipped on me, blocked her on Snapchat, and she texted me on Tinder. You know, I kind of think that if I was about to go on a date with somebody, they said, I don't want to do it, and then later said that, okay, here's a person that I hooked up with. That don't exactly add up, and I don't feel good about myself after that. Before you read, I'm being sarcastic. Don't take sloppy seconds serious. <laughs> LOL. I just realized I'm 28 years old and single, which means I'm not going to be someone's first love. All of the good ones are taken. If I ever get married, the guy will most likely have been divorced, widowed, or been in a long relationship. So us single people that's 25 plus will be getting someone's scrappy seconds. Unless we date someone way young that's just starting out. If you've never been married or never been in a long relationship where you actually live together for 8 plus years, hit me up. From the makers of Sir This Is A Wendy's, ma'am, this is a Facebook status. You know, every time I see somebody talk about, oh, this person needs to be a virgin, or this person needs to not have any other past boyfriend, it just makes me realize just how stupid those people are every time they sound that, and honestly, it just really doesn't matter. The only red flag for anybody that I could think of when it comes to somebody having past partners is that if they have a history of cheating. But that's only one reason, though, and it's very unlikely that it's the main reason, nor the only reason. Also, you take too long deciding if you want me. I got dudes coming out the wazoo who want to F or put a rib on it or both and i'm just chilling waiting for you to decide like fine i get it but i could also have a hot indian guy with lots of pew pews between my legs tight now and i said no because i like you so much you know this is the third or fourth time that you keep telling me that you could have this guy or that guy and I'm sure if you were in my shoes, you wouldn't appreciate it. Yeah, you know, it's just a little bit of a red flag to kind of uh, try flexing the amount of dudes that want to sleep with you at the moment. It doesn't even make any sense either. Plus, if you have that many people wanting to do stuff relationship and just smashing wise, why are you taking the day out to message him? Plus, this is the third or fourth time. You would think that she would stop after maybe the second, but nope. Girls are like apples. The best ones are at the top of the trees. The boys don't want to reach for the good ones because they are afraid of falling and getting hurt. Instead, they just get the rotten apples that are on the ground that aren't as good, but easy. Also, the apples at the top think there is something wrong with them, when, in reality, they are amazing. They just have to wait for the right boy to come along. The one who was brave enough to climb all the way to the top of the tree. Yeah, you do realize that apples can rot before they fall down, ma'am. Just because an apple's at the top of the tree don't mean it's not rottener than the one that fell. I think you may also now need to understand how apples can work sometimes. Hey, can someone tell me why guys consistently pick girls that look like they could eat an apple through a fence over me? Not saying I'm hot dookie, just saying that if you're gonna date someone that looks like a horse, you might have a bigger problem. Really, you're going to try to berate somebody, make yourself look better, but at the same time, you just jealous because you don't got a cool party trick. So I'll say right now, if somebody could bob for apples professionally, that would be pretty dang cool. Like in all legitimacy, ma'am, what is in fact your hold my beer moment that you say at parties for people to say really cool stuff about you? Men hate nice girls. They prefer wickedness. Know this and no peace. Uh, yes, ma'am, but if we're taking your own sentence into occasion, what is your excuse? Because, ma'am, a house done landed on your sister. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future.
future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye.